Please check out the merch and other things I have for sale on my website. It helps out the channel so I can continue to do videos like this. Thanks and enjoy the rest of the video. Hello everyone, Outdoors and Botanical here, and today I'm going to be showing you how I converted a 40 gallon fish tank to a vertical vivarium for my crested geckos. So the bottom of this tank broke, so I had to use a foam background, which is why I didn't include the foam and the sealant in um, the items used. So anyways, what you will need is milliput, latex gloves, black spray foam, plexiglass, silicone, some type of latch to hold the door on, tracking, and some type of knob for the door. So all the links will be in the description to get them on Amazon. It'll be part of, a, part of an associate program, which gives me a percentage and helps out the channel. So let's get into the build. First thing you'll do is lay out all your pieces on the background and arrange them how you like them and how you want to place them. Then you want to cover it all in spray foam. Spray foam around everything. Make sure it's all covered, otherwise it won't look real. Here's another angle of how that'll look. So make sure you get everywhere. Next step is you're going to want to cut it. Cut every bit of the shiny part off so the silicone sticks. And here comes another angle of that so you can see. This is a good time to shape it as well. So there, there it is inside the tank. And now what you're going to want to do is get your latex gloves and all that kind of stuff, everything in that picture there. And you're going to want to cover the whole background in silicone. So this will stick the dirt on the background to make it look realistic, so really load on the silicone. Make sure you get it in every little crack and everything. Then you want to pack on some substrate. I use cocoa coir. That really helps. Uh, I didn't include this in the items used, but I should. So I'll put that in the link in the description as well. Here's another angle. Let it dry for 24 hours and then brush off all the dirt. When all the dirt's off, it should look like this. Now it's time to decorate it. So I started off by making a, a feeding area for my crested geckos. I carved out some foam, covered in silicone, put dirt on it, and that's how I made it. Siliconed it into the tank there. Then I added some vines. Made it look kind of real. I collected these from a forest. They're all grape vines, and they work really well. So that's how it should look. I also added some swings and a rope, and believe it or not, they do climb on those, and they really like it. So now I will show you how to assemble the door. Okay, the tank is done, but I just want to show you how I made the front on the 40-gallon vertical tank. So, I silicone piece about finger length, so about four inches on the front there, a piece of plexiglass. And right on top of that, I put a piece of channeling. It's got a sticky pad underneath, so I just stuck it on top of the glass. Then I cut another piece of plexiglass that goes all the way up to here. And a third one that comes up to here. So this one here has a little latch on it right there and it leans forward and you lift it right out what holds it in is I have these I use milliput uh, silicone didn't work, hot glue didn't work, they all peeled off milliput works really well and I put a small piece of tubing that's about as wide as an allen key so as you can see over here I have an allen key in there when I lift it up the glass door comes out and then you just push the glass back in, pop it down, and it holds it. So basically, to take it off, you go like that. And you lift it right out of the channeling. And now it's open. And to put it back in, you do the same thing. Try to do this one-handed, it's a little difficult. But there you go. The same thing, put it back in, and put the latch down. I still need the second Allen key there. Haven't found a second one yet. I gotta go get one. But yeah, so it works very well. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, the next video will be the planting video. So thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And as always, stay outdoors, be botanical, keep your hobbies, and I'll see you in the next video.